In this video, we will tell you the 10 worst money habits that will make you poor. You must avoid these money habits in order to become rich. Many of my friends who did have these money habits really became poor. I studied many people's behavior and then discovered that the people with these money habits were getting poor very soon. Watch this video till the end, or it may happen that you suffer a lot because of these money habits later. Now let's start. 1. Buying more to save more. To save money, it is virtually never a good idea to buy extra products or increase one's expenditure in reaction to promotions or discounts. One should avoid doing any of these things. The excess money is often allocated to products that are either required or wanted, but which eventually turn out to be irrelevant or superfluous. 2. Habits of Bad Thrift Shopping Besides saving money, thrift purchasing is also enjoyable. The experience may be so enjoyable that one may inadvertently overspend and purchase unnecessary items in an attempt to save money. Additionally, some secondhand shops and thrift stores exploit individuals who are frugal but lack extensive knowledge regarding the appropriate pricing of items. These illicit retailers raise prices substantially above what is reasonable for pre-owned goods through the use of exploitative pricing schemes. Twice the original price, I once discovered a set of playground toys for children with the tag still attached. A 75% discount was granted to me solely on account of my awareness of the matter, which I duly reported to the manager. Checking the prices of comparable items online with your mobile device is the number one most effective way to avoid being duped. Examining the sold price of comparable items via the free eBay app is an excellent starting point. Press the red subscribe button below and also the like button to know more amazing financial tips and tricks. 3. Expending much time or energy in an attempt to save a tiny amount. Avoid being miserly with pounds and pennies. Consider whether your time or effort would be more effectively invested in an alternative endeavor if you find yourself expending a significant amount of it in order to save a few dollars. This includes making circular trips to five grocery stores in order to save just a few dollars or traveling a great distance to purchase furniture. You could have potentially found more cost-effective furniture much closer to home or utilize that time and energy saved on petrol and transportation rather than wasting it traveling to and from the store. Self-awareness regarding the value of one's time empowers individuals to make prudent decisions regarding its expenditure, thereby facilitating more efficient saving. Four. Reservation. Not only is it frugal, but it also aids in the reduction of waste sent to landfills by repurposing and upcycling pre owned items. It is environmentally sustainable and intelligence driven. Additionally, it is detrimental to your well being in multiple ways to hoard an excessive amount of pointless belongings just in case or out of sentimentality. Mental burden ensues as the accumulation of belongings in one's residence progresses. As a consequence, undesirable physical or mental health effects may ensue. It is time to part ways with items that have been in your possession for years, clothing that you wore when you weighed 20 pounds less, and the accumulation of every fragment of paper that enters your path. 5. Taking the advantages of freebie. At one point, I readily embraced for free everything that my peers would purge from their residences and wardrobes. Furthermore, I would carry home arbitrary items that I happened upon strewn around on the street. When I brought back these sacks containing used clothing, ancient toys, and worn-out furniture that I discovered on disposal day, I believed I was exercising frugality and conserving money. However, this was not the case 99% of the time. I would carry home a mountain of trash that required additional storage space, money, and effort to maintain, in addition to consuming extra space in my home. 
Moreover, you could end up spending thousands of dollars on complimentary things if you are not cautious. Multiple acquaintances of mine have unknowingly acquired free furniture that turned out to be infested with bed bugs. They were subsequently forced to replace furniture and cover exorbitant exterminator fees. Consider this before accepting gifts. 6. Being a pushover. So long as one's loyalty is acknowledged and rewarded, it is acceptable to exhibit loyalty. In contrast, it may be prudent to seek alternative employment if one is exerting excessive effort for an employer or superior who fails to recognize or compensate for one's efforts. Additionally, you may need to establish boundaries or reduce contact with family or friends who steal, deceive, or otherwise exploit you financially. 7. Going cheap on big ticket items. Certain aspects of existence are like that which one receives in return, as well as automobiles, mattresses, shoes, and socks. There are specific items that merit a little extra investment or expenditure. Insufficient support from a low-quality mattress, for instance, could result in back discomfort that eventually necessitates costly massages or chiropractic adjustments. Although initially selecting the least expensive option may appear to be a cost-saving measure, it is often the case that ultimate expenditure will be greater. 8. Doing improper DIY projects. Certain matters should be delegated to experts. Be sure to delegate the task of wiring repairs during a renovation to a licensed electrician if you lack experience in electrical work, for instance. Complex residential restorations are the same. You may ultimately spend more money if you fail to perform a substantial repair properly the first time around, unless you possess the assurance that you can perform the task correctly. 9. Skimping on your health. In terms of one's well being, skimping is not a viable option. It is a risky game of chance to attempt to save money by skimping on investments such as vision and dental care, or by foregoing health insurance. Long term health consequences such as diabetes or hypertension may also result from consuming low quality foods that are loaded with preservatives and sodium. Simply knowing where to search will enable you to find an abundance of inexpensive dishes that are also nutritious. A useful starting point is Pinterest. 10. Keeping up with the Joneses. Stop preoccupying yourself with what others may think or do and ensure that your accounting and spending habits reflect your own complete satisfaction. You are not obligated to spend money on designer clothing, go on extravagant vacations, or possess the most recent technology simply because your peers or neighbors do. Their financial success may not necessarily translate to your own, and conversely, it is important to consider that their financial struggles may be difficult to discern from the outside. Their bank accounts may be overdrawn and they are engulfed in debt, despite the fact that they appear to be well-mannered, possess a luxurious automobile, and reside in a sizable residence. That's all for today. Now you know all the worst money habits that could make you poor. Press the red subscribe button if you are interested in knowing more amazing financial tips and tricks to become rich. It's my request to you that please press the like button also because this motivates us to make more amazing financial videos. Feel free to add a comment below if you are left with any queries or suggestions regarding this topic or from any topic of personal finance. We will be happy to help you out. Share this video with everyone including your friends, relatives, family members, and all others for them to learn. These money habits were discussed by millionaires and multi-billionaires like Sir Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, and all others in their interviews. Actually, people with these money habits became poor very soon. We highly suggest you avoid these money habits if you are having these. As I told you, few of my friends did have this money habit before.
But after my suggestion, they quitted these habits and now they are doing well financially. It could happen that because of these financial habits, you are still poor. Quitting these habits may result in accumulation of wealth in a very short period of time. But only quitting bad money habits won't make you rich, maybe. If you could start investing in some of the few most trending assets, then you could become rich very easily. Investments could earn you money even while you are sleeping. We have made a specific video on the best investments that you should make to become rich. Click on the video appearing on the right side to watch it. Thank you.